All right, so we got another one for the channel, an old school Corvette. This is an 82, and I showed you guys the interior because this is a very clean car, but it's had a little bit of repair work through the years on it, here and there, spotting in jobs on it, and uh, these colors are very hard to match, so the customer wasn't happy with the last job that was done to the hood, and uh, the color was kind of a little off, and by the time you do that and you fix up a lot of the little stuff that it had nicks on it and stuff through the years, you might as well just shoot the whole car. So this is a very clean car and the uh, owner of this thing loves it. So we took on another one and uh, we're gonna be shooting this one here. So I wanted to show you the beginning of it. That way you guys could see it before we start on it. And uh, this is an 82, it's a collector's edition Corvette and uh it'll be very nice once it's all done we got to get it straight it's got a couple of waves in it dips and you guys know about these old school corvettes so these are all fiberglass and they are definitely not the easiest vehicles to take apart but uh we'll get it done and you guys can see here it's got some wavy body work it looks like from prior repairs and stuff through the years but we're going to get it all fixed up nice and i wanted to show you the beginning of where we start out with it and uh, where we go from it. So this is the car and uh, we'll continue on and show you this one as we get through the stages too. All right, so I got news that we're gonna be getting the Corvette into the paint shop today. So we went ahead and we picked up some more of the slick sand. We got ourselves a gallon this time because this is gonna be the perfect job to use the slick sand on like we used on the Mercedes hood. So give me a minute and they'll be bringing over the Corvette and I'll show it to you guys and you guys will see it how I get them from the body man and that way we could follow this job from what I'd handle all the way out through and then I'll send it back over to the body man and we'll show you this one finished up so hang tight all right so here it is and it's all detrimmed all the body work is done and these are how they come over to the paint shop so the body man gets the car he detrims it they go over the body work what it's going to need to be right and then he does his thing detrims it all the way down and uh then the car makes it over to me and then from here on out it's in my hands till it's done so we're going to go ahead and we're going to slick sand it and uh, the body man straightened it up blocked it down did all the body work fixed some cracks on it. it had some spots in it that were repaired before here on the other quarter here they did some repair work years back you guys could see it had some of that euro prime from dupont back on it you guys know that if you've seen it that was a big thing back in the day that euro prime because it had that special color and then a lot of the cheaper companies were trying to make that color. I seen that in a couple other brands, but we got it all bloody worked. And uh, once we hit it with the slick sand, we'll re-block it and then uh, hit it with a urethane 2K. And that's the best way I've had success with doing these old school Corvettes. It holds down the body work really well with that uh, polyester. So once we get it slick sanded, we'll block it hit it with our 2K and then we'll run around it and get it sanded for paint. So we got our doors off and we're gonna be painting this one all apart like we do our collision jobs. And that's gonna give us a nice job because we won't have any tape lines on anything because we'll be painting the inside of the doors and the outside at the same time. And that'll be the same thing here with the uh, jams. There'll be no tape lines inside the jams because we're gonna spray this whole body all at one time with the doors and the bumpers and everything in the booth at the same time because you guys know we have the double wide booth and that booth really comes in handy for doing something like this these bigger old school jobs and uh, there's the front cover we stripped it down and the back was actually looks like they replaced the bumper at one time and it was pretty clean so that one there we're going to just knock down and uh, maybe prime it but we didn't really have to strip it so we're gonna get them up to par with it and uh, have them looking good out there and uh, winning some trophies with it. So this will be the next job. And uh, just wanted to show you guys the original car, how we started out when it came in and then where we're at now with the body work. And we'll follow this one through the shop all the way till we get it out front like we did the old Ford. And this one here should move quicker than the old Ford because that one had a lot more uh, damage than we thought once you get into them old jobs that are metal they got rust and you got to patch them in and do different things with it so we're going to get this one in the booth to do the slick sand on it we'll go ahead and spray that in the next video and then we'll show you what i do from there on out with it and uh, we'll follow this all the way through so if you're into the old corvettes 
hit subscribe and uh, stay tuned to the next video where we uh, get this thing slick sanded. So we'll see you guys next time.